we are back now with a fantastic game. It's gonna be a TVZ and Elmo. Who do we got? Boarding to the bottom left hand side of Wellwind, it will be the Red Zerg player playing for Team Acer. It is Bly. And of course, spawning in the top left side, we have our blue Terran player, who goes by the name of Empire Cass. Right, Elmo. This is actually just just to inform you quickly, guys. If you are not having the grids, or if you if you do not figure them out, or if you have not figured them out, uh, this is the finals of the invitation only bracket. I, I think it's a best of three, if I'm not completely mistaken. And the winner between those two guys will play against the winner of the open bracket. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I think it's actually a kind of cool style to go for this. Uh, going for some invitationals, we're going to see some really, really strong players, and then picking off someone from the open bracket. So maybe the not too unknown players, but also giving the chance actually to go into the finals without dropping against a very strong player already. Yeah, it's a very cool style because then actually also the quote-unquote kind of a little bit worse players can actually also win some money because we have a prize pool of 150 euros the winner will take not all the winner takes it not all <laughs> as ever suggested the, the winner, winner actually takes, takes 100 euros it all. the winner takes it all no uh, the winner <clears throat> will take 100 euros and the second place goes away with 50 euros so a guy from the open bracket could potentially win 50 euros and if he could make the upset happen, maybe even a hundred euros, so that is just amazing. Yeah, I, lo I love it. I love it, really. And uh... Also, of course, just to uh, interrupt you there again, mm -hmm. quick shout-outs to Like a Panda, who is the admin of this tournament and who has been behind the scenes organizing all the games for us. He's doing a an amazing job. And great shout-outs to him and also a great thank you. Yeah, very true. Really, really cool and neat. Uh, it transitions from one game to another. I have to say, this is a great organization, and you should uh, definitely support them. Go on their website, even though you don't understand a single word. Uh, just <laughs> just try... go there and, and look at it. Enjoy <laughs> just it. look at it. Just look <laughs> at the website. Enjoy it. And if you see a panda, of course, um, uh, and support him by any means, and uh, support the Russian scene because uh, they do a really great job. We have great players from. The Ukraine. We have great players from Russia, mostly. So, um, yeah, um, definitely worth checking out. Yeah. So let's actually get back to the game here. We saw a rather quick uh, hatchery out of Balai, uh, who is actually now heavily producing links here. Already mm. getting quite some links done here. Already 12 out, two more to hatch here. That will make it a grand total of 14 links that will be heading on into the direction of Cass here, uh, which is already quite a commitment. I mean, think of it, that could have been seven drones. Yeah, and, and you he's... don't really need all that many links that early on. How often do we, do we see this? I mean, going for so many Zerklings without any gas. And this is quite cool. I mean, he is not completely. Uh, committing to this but he will take on the bunker right now He's oh no going to slip past that is there a depot in place oh no, no. Is not. oh no he can actually get into the main this oh is huge my god for Bly already immediately the scvs are pulled Cass knows that trouble is awaiting him here but i think it is going to be a lot of trouble that will be awaiting him here the scvs have to fight them or have to defend themselves because there are actually no units out or at least only a couple of uh, Marines. That is a, actually a very nice position there at the ramp, but it is not going to be enough. A lot of SCVs will die also in the main mineral line. A couple of them went down. If we look at it, 14, uh, no, sorry, 9. <laughs> I'm looking at this uh, yeah. the wrong way. 9 SCVs have been killed by Cass, so I'd say that uh, kind of commitment we saw out of Bly there, that early commitment definitely paid off. Absolutely right, and I think this is just. Um, Bly seeing Cass um, playing many many games, playing it a little bit more greedy, playing uh, going for um, very for, uh, very early expansions, 
and therefore decided to go for this kind of build. Normally you don't see this at all, but uh, he is like, okay, Cass, you like to play a little bit greedy, and therefore I will punish you with this uh, kind of play. And he's not to c committing it um, gas-wise. He's really investing a lot into the um, into his drones, seeing already both bases saturated and even a third base being started. Yeah, Bly is getting his macro game going. Of course, Cass wants to deny that with those Hellions that we are currently seeing out here. Two of them already out. But look at that nice wall in or wall off that Bly is already creating with two evolution chambers and the Roach Warren. If he positions another queen there in that uh, choke point, then those Hellions should not be able to do anything. Yeah, very smart play here by Bly indeed. And uh, going for that uh, wall off. Uh, and uh, will be in, in directly going for Roach is very interesting enough. Uh, he has a lot of gases here being taken at the natural base, should be taking it uh, very shortly, and might be going for a lot of upgrades onto this. And look at that! This wall is just so, so important right now, as a lot of Helens try to go into the natural base, will be hindered by these queens, and it is just more than well defended. Absolutely, those Helens cannot do anything apart from taking damage by those queens. Uh, so far it's actually working out perfectly for Bly. He's getting his units up, he's getting his drone count up and he's now transitioning into roach play. Already getting six initial roaches to I guess to get rid of those hellions. Also of course with that plus one upgrade for arranged attacks I would I would think that he's going to commit to those roaches eventually. Maybe also to uh, maybe he's also going to mix in a couple of uh, hydrolisks in the later stages of the mid game. Yeah, and seeing the, what, what Bly is actually doing, it's like he is blind countering a cast already. He's like, okay, I know what you like to go for, and oh, did he see the uh, Medimax actually? He will be seeing it with the creep spread, and wow, Bly already having such a great creep spread. I have to say, uh, seeing exactly what's going on, and he will be more than prepared with these roaches, uh, w which are actually fantastic to deal with draw play. Absolutely, the roaches will now enter, or at least a couple of them will now enter the third base where the Hellions are actually at. They will kill one worker, oh. but there are the roaches taking them out one after another. Two do go down, and three of them are very heavily wounded. So that is not paying out very, very nicely for the, the turn player. Also, the drop in, like outside of the natural base, does get uh, shut down here by the roaches. So it's once again a perfect defense uh, so far from Bly here. Yeah, look at that. Roach is in position just to deal with these islands. It's like he he knows exactly what Cass is doing. And look at that, he might be even taking out every single one of them. Cass is a little bit sloppy here uh, with his control. He will be going for a follow-up attack, but as, yeah, as he didn't do any damage with the earlier um, aggression and harass he was planning to do, this is going to be so hard to execute. Absolutely, Bly is actually now moving in with those roaches, oh. but of course there are already a couple of siege tanks set up, so he should retreat immediately back out of there because he will not get that anything. He could set up a light container to keep Cass from getting out of his natural base there, and kind of to deny him from getting any further expansions, because he's already throwing down his fourth base, which uh, suggests that he's now actually up two bases once that finishes, and that is just the perfect position for Zerg to be in. Oh my god, look at the creep spread. He is reaching the third base already. At least one of the three third base location here. Cass, I think he knows he's uh, far um, behind in in terms of uh, yeah, in terms of army supply, in terms of economy. He's trying to get the third base now saturated, but he needs to be so so careful as Bly's already getting the 2-2 upgrades right now, going for the Roach Hydra style. And uh, going straight up, yeah, even for the hive. So we might probably see some vipers here very soon. That could very well be happening. Cast is now sieging up his tanks on the low ground outside of the central expansion. Lie already meeting the army now inside the third base. But look at that creep spread. Look at it. It's amazing. It's wow. amazing. He still has two creep tumors uh, on the left side, therefore denying that base here from coming up. He cannot. Um, yeah, he cannot expand aggressively, so he has to take the one uh, in the top right side. And oh, the burrow, the burrow movement here. Oh, that's awesome. Good luck at Funcast. He's now playing a game of whack-a-mole with that roach there. 
uh, trying to get rid of this. He will throw another missile turret, trying to save up that scam, but of course that will oh. not go down because there are already roaches in position to deal with that. So that oh my. base will be, will be denied by quite some time actually. Bly doing a fantastic job, Cass now to, going to go for the fourth base. There is a fourth base not established, but no uh, workers being. Um, yeah, there's, there are no workers actually that are mining from that. So he will be trying to defend this with the Hydralisks, but it's gonna be <laughs> close. <laughs> yeah, the Hydralisks are just trying to... Oh, let me quickly get there, I will save it. Oh, I did it. Okay. Sprinting there in slow motion. <laughs> Sprinting in slow motion, exactly. <laughs> so, a Roach Hydra is, in extent, very, very um, cool army composition, but he needs to get some Vipers right now to deal against these sea chains, that which he's doing right now. I have to say, I, I love the play from Bly so far. He's now going into the third base, and he, he might be sniping, at, at least lifting a Glad this command center being lifted off. Yeah, actually, he's not uh, even forcing the lift because okay. those siege tanks and the main part of the bio unit is in a very nice position. He will take out a couple of workers, though, which is kind of nice. He's also now burrowing a couple of units inside the echo line, which, of course, also is by itself a very cool move there. So you can later on unburrow them and trying to cause some um, some uh, distraction. That's the word. Yeah, exactly. This is really cool play we're seeing from Bly. And look at that. He's already so uh, yeah. He's already uh, maxed out on his army composition. Forty-six roaches, fifteen hydralis. The, uh, the exact m amount you need to get this uh, DPS out. And uh, yeah, now with the double expansion. Having complete map control, it's just looking amazing for the Zerg player. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I don't know if you were looking at the third base, but there was still a Roach Bird inside the mineral line. Oh. And once that turret finished, the tank started firing at it, <laughs> and he just killed like two or three Marines and an SCV with that. Oh, no. Anyways, at the same time, uh, Roaches and Hydras are moving into the what could be the potential fourth base of Cast trying to take a nice position. There also, of course, the Vipers are there trying to maybe throw down some blinding clouds and some abducts. There oh, we go, there are the go. blinding clouds. The tanks are rendered useless and now the Roaches and Hydras are pushing forward. Some more blinding clouds are going down trying to prevent those Marines from doing any damage. And it's just looking amazing for Fly. I mean, he's pretty much trading units that are very, very cheap for units that cast a lot, which is Siege Tanks. Very true, with the upgrade advantage, he is just ripping apart all these siege tanks and the GG has been called Bly taking the very first game. Wow, amazing job there Bly, showing some incredible plays and completely outplaying his opponent, that is Kaz. And taking game number one of this Invitational Bracket Final. Yeah, that was amazing play. By Bly and <laughs> I know I don't know he he just countered every single thing Cass was throwing at him and also doing of course the nice arrest in the very early stages going for the um, yeah for the slow circling attack was just working